Hey guys, Fred Bowler here, the Wildlife Ambassador. And today's video is going to be about the hammerhead worm, or the shovelhead worm, by Pelium Cowency. And uh, it's the media has terrified people about this worm invading Florida and other areas of the U.S. It is a invasive species, and it came in through potted plants, probably. But if you look at media reports, it's the end of the world, as usual. So I did a little skit. It's all humor. And uh, this is the way the media kind of pans it out to be. The hammerhead worm, or the broadhead worm, by Paleum Coenci, is um, thought to be inv invasive from Asia. But you know what? It's been in the United States longer than anybody alive in the United States since pre-1900. They, they really don't know when, but they know it was documented before 1900. So why aren't thousands of people dying like this, as the media almost suggests? Like in this article, they can actually grow up to 18 inches. No, they can't. That's why you have to do your research. I've always said do multiple avenues of research when you're looking into something or recent researching something because it's it, the me especially in the media, they love to mislead and cause hype and fear. And a lot of times they'll use millimeters because that even sounds bigger. A hammerhead worm was discovered today in a backyard, measuring over 120 millimeters long. So at average length, um, the hammerhead worms, seven, seven and a half, eight inches, they can get a little larger or longer. However, they're about as thin as a bread tie. They're not this gigantic creature. Now, there are many species in the United States, and including native species. There are species of Lamplinarians all around the world. Just many different species, and people aren't dying of these. The thing is, just like a multitude of things, which I'm going to have a little list pop up for you, like multiple things, don't put it in your mouth. You're not a puppy. You know, watch your little babies. Uh, in the backyard and all that. Not that this, the planarian is going to come out and get them. It's just babies like to put anything in their mouth. So here's a list on what not to put in your mouth, by the way. And a little synopsis of the story is about the hammerhead worm. Nobody is dying from them. Um, they do have pathogens if you eat it, like the animals I showed in the little scroll up. But they're not terrorizing the United States. Do your research. Take the media with a grain of salt until you've researched. <laughs> 